there was an AP Physics class. Uh, Mrs. McNeil taught that and I fell in love with science. You know, it was clear to me that science was maybe the most honest way we had of uh, viewing the world. Not, not just honest in a sense of like always finding truth, but to look at the way things are put together. It's a thing of beauty. In the end, you can tell everything is found out for what it is. And as a teenager, you're trying to make sense of the world. And, uh, you know, that was really, really comforting, you know, and, and really, really compelling to see science uh, you know, sort of serve that role. There's a lot we still don't understand about the universe, and if there are some sort of farther out there ideas about how the universe could be put together that's different than what we think, that could explain a, a certain set of phenomena that we currently don't have explanations for. One of those is in some of the behavior of neutrinos. We began making that case and thinking about how to bootstrap that neutrino program. It took a while, a couple of tries, for that idea to mature and for us to get better at telling the story. And eventually that was funded. That's a, a really gratifying part of the process to have undertaken. To have a vision, to realize the pieces are there, putting those pieces together into a story that uh, eventually um, we realize can produce something unique. Even when you sort of think about your interests at those early stages, sort of dreaming where that might take you, you actually hope that you're going to end up making some big impact. And, and I, I feel like for me, this is that big impact.